fantastic. Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my open TTD Let's Play. Now, last time I said that I was going to add some more passenger stuff, but I just simply didn't have the money to do it in between episodes. Luckily, we've got 6 mil in the bank. Well, when I said that, it went down to 5.9 mil, and now it's 5.8. I should stop talking, it's going down. Never mind. <laughs> Let's go find uh, some trains and work out where we can add some passenger vehicles. Now, I think the best way to do that is if we go to the Ted Independent Traders station list and expand that so we can see all the stations. Now, this is pre-filtered to just passengers. I mean, we can do it for all, but we're going to concentrate on passengers today because I think we've got lots. Yeah, look at that. If we put the list down there, we can see that Tedham, Fartborough, Ladding Hatton, Fongfing Way, Farborn, uh, Genningville, Gengfing Hill, uh, all have lots and lots of passengers. So let's get some new, uh, new stuff. What do you call these things? Trains or mag trains, maglevs. How much is that? That is making about three million a year. Cracking. That's what we want. So we need to get loads of trains. Now Tedham is the one with the most passengers at it. So let's have a good look at Tedham. It's got 4,638 passengers. So let's expand that. Now, most passengers appear to want to go to Fuborn. Where's that? Is it the one at the far end? I think it's the one at the far end, isn't it? Oh, that's Fonfing Way. Oh, here we are, Fuborn in the middle here. Right, so most of the passengers at Tedham want to go there. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a brand new service. There are, let's go to the depot. New vehicle. There we are, get a new train, cost us 5.9 million. It's a lot of money for a train in Open TTD. We're going to go tell it to go to Tedham, and we'll tell it to go to Fuborn. Brilliant. Let's set that train on its way, and we'll just keep an eye on that. There we go. And we'll keep an eye on that station list too. Now, we need to uh, generate more money. So whilst the money is generating, ready for the next train, uh, we'll do some kind of just checking and making sure everything's running okay. Uh, around here, we've got loads of coal at this mine. It's quadruple production. This one here is gung-ho quadruple as well. And this one's gung-ho quadruple as well. So the coal is actually coming through quite nicely. Although I'm a little bit worried we haven't got enough trains for trending whole mines. So let's just clone. Should we clone the train? No, we'll leave it for now. We will indeed leave that. Never know how many trains are coming through here. There could be about three or four trains just about to come to it. How many trains do we have there? Look, we've. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got a number of trains stuck in depots. That one's stopped. Let's get that one going. There we go. And let's uh, say go to this depot and refit to coal. There we are. That'll help. We've got one more train that we had lying around that we didn't use. Uh, right, so our train 14 has gone from one place to the other and it's on a negative at the moment. Why is it on negative? Why is it empty? Uh, let's go all the way to... What is it? Fuborn, right, at Fuborn, there's lots of passengers, and a good number of them want to go to Tedham. Well, why didn't this train pick up any passengers? Train 14, what's going on? Let's keep an eye on you. So train 14 has just done a journey, possibly without any passengers at all. And again... Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Let's have a look at its orders. Go to Tedham, go to Fuborn. And there's passengers waiting. Passengers to Fuborn. Well, there's loads of passengers wanting to go to Fuborn, so why aren't they getting on the trains? That train's loading. Train 11's unloading and loading. So why isn't train 14? Let's have a look at the orders. 
Let's see. Let's just see. Goes into Fuborn. Oh, now it's unloading. Oh, there's a new... Oh, that's the VAC train. The VAC train is available, folks. We need to get more money. Okay, so it, it does actually have some passengers on it now. But only 15. Okay, so let's see. Hopefully... Oh, I know why. It's the cargo distribution. The train has to make a complete journey to register where it's going so that the cargo wants to go on it. So this time, when it gets to Tedham, it should pick up a lot of stuff. Let's turn the cargo distribution flow legend on for passengers. All companies for passengers. There we go. So you can see the lines going in and out of Tedham now. Train 14's on its way to Tedham. Um, and let's get that legend back up. Here it is. So, really, green is good, yellow is um, overloaded to a point. Oh, here it is, train 14 is just coming into uh, platform 6 of Tedham, and this time is fully unloading and loading. Right, okay, we're getting somewhere now. So, it's got 76 passengers on it, waiting for free path. Is that all? Why does it get 76? We've got hundreds of passengers that want to go to Fubon. Oh, it's going to the depot. Right. And then is it going to go... Go back to Tedham. Okay, so it's going to come into Tedham. Now, fill up with passengers. But it appears to be filling up with passengers. It's only got 81 passengers, though. It looks like it can only take passengers from one particular location. This time it's picking the passengers up that came from Cartborn. How strange. Well, uh, we'll have to keep a close eye on that throughout the episode. Uh, let's carry on with checking the cargo flow and we'll also check this train 14 once it gets back the other way. Uh, let's have a look, see where we've got some yellow lines. We've got a ye yellow line between Tedham and Ladding Hatton. It looks like we need another train going from Tedham to Ladding Hatton. So, new vehicle, uh, the, the mag train. Let's tell it to go Tedham and Ladding Hatton. Where is it? There it is. Brilliant. Let's get train 57 on its way. Cracking, there we are. Right, so now, train 14 is 300 passengers from Fubon for the first time. I think it's working a little bit better now. Yes. So, if we look at the passengers to go to Fubon, there's 127 passengers from Genfing Hill. So, is that what train 14 is going to do this time round? Uh, let's find out as it comes down the main line uh, towards Tedham. So quick, 310 miles per hour. I don't think a train in the UK goes that quick. I think they go up to 200 uh, on most of the high speed lines. I'd have to look that up and find out. Maybe somebody who already knows could pop it down in the comments about what speed the trains go in the UK for the main lines. Uh, but we're coming towards Tedham now. I think we've got this last junction. Yeah, here we go. So into Tedham. Obviously those 300 passengers are going to get off. That's going to give us some money. How much money is that going to give us? Well, we'll find out in just a moment. Here we go. Come on. And there we go. Oh, 224,000 for the transfer. Now, it's picking up passengers from Tedham this time. And it's 193. Hmm. Okay. I wondered if that I wonder if that one was more and I just didn't notice. Let's check the Ladin Hatton train. Where's my mouse gone? There it is. So the Ladin Hatton train is unloading passengers from Cartborn. But it's been to Ladin Hatton. Oh, his cargo distribution does my tree in. It's doing alright though. So looking at this, the next time a train goes into Tedham. 
which is heading to Fuborn, I would expect it to pick passengers up that are from Cartborn. Oh no, it broke down. Tell you what, let's fast forward until it gets back to Tedham again. Go on. Back to Tedham. Okay, so it's going to drop off here. Yep, loads of money. Good, good, good. And let's head back now to Tedham and find out how many, uh, which passengers we So I'm looking at this Tedham list here, and I'm looking at the passengers that want to go to Fuborn. And there are three groups. There's, there's ones from Tedham, there's ones from Geffing Hill, and ones from Cartborn. And there's most from Cartborn, so I'm hoping this train picks up the ones that are actually wanted to go to Cartborn. So we're unloading the Fuborn passengers first, and we get another 230 transfer and 92 income and we're picking up passengers from Tedham again is that passengers in general from Tedham? it must be because there wasn't 300 passengers previously well whatever's going on with that uh, I think it does look like those passengers um, that is a summary so it looks like they're from Tedham but they, they yes the number of passengers from Cartborn in the list um, actually did go down so it is all working as expected. Brilliant. Right, we nearly got enough money for a third train this episode. So let's have a quick look round the cargo flow. Oh, Ladding Hatton to Farborn looks like it might need a, a, an extra train. Oh no, it just updated. I don't think it does anymore. Let's use our let's use our list. So Tedham still got the most passengers waiting, and most of those passengers want to go to. Gangfing Hill now. Right, which is this one all the way. And that's Cartborn. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. It's this one, it's Gaffing Hill. Right, hang on a second. We've got a direct shuttle between the two stations. This is. Right, okay, let's have a look. How many trains have we got going to actual Gaffing Hill? Is it just the one? Yeah. It's not making a lot of profit. That's because Geffing Hill doesn't have any passengers. But, yeah, there is a lot of passengers that want to go to Geffing Hill. And I'm guessing train two here. Wow, train two, that's an old train. Yeah, it's full on passengers again. Okay, well, for now, uh, we're going to skip that one. Because that, that line between there, I think, would be very saturated. Uh, very very unneeded very quickly uh, so the next one on the list for the most amount of passengers oh no Farborn's got uh, Farborough sorry has got more passengers waiting at it than anyone else now and it's got uh, lots of passengers uh, that want to go to Ladding oh my goodness 3,000 passengers wanting to go to Ladding Hatton we need to sort that out new vehicle there we are we've got a new vehicle And we'll get it to go Farborn and then Ladding Hatton. Ladding Hatton's getting to be a big place. Did we set that train going? Yes, we did. In fact, so is Farborn. This is whacking great big hill in the middle that causes the problems. Um, but it's it is a four-track hill. Okay, so hopefully that train, that, that new train, will actually. I think it's this one here, train 60. So train 60 has actually got 300 passengers for, for Farborn. Brilliant. And it should make... Well, I'll tell you what. Let's have another comments thing. Let's uh, pop it down in the comments how much you think the Ladin Hatton train is going to make. Bearing in mind the previous one going backwards between Tedham and Fuborn was making... Ooh, it was about 200 and... It was just over 300,000, wasn't it? I reckon that this train is going to make... Um... Just a little bit less. I think it's going to be probably 270,000 in total. Get your comment in. Pause the video if you need to. Okay, let's let's find out. And the total is 137 and 45. So, oh. I was pretty much smack on. I was very, very close with my estimation. Yeah, oh, that's good. Cool. Right. So uh, with the money is climbing, fantastic. And let's have a look at the train, uh, the station list. Well, Tedham is once again the busiest station. 
And if we have a look at the passengers, the most passengers wants to go to Gamefing Hill. So we're going to skip that one. Ladding Hatton is now the busiest station. And most passengers at Ladding Hatton want to go to... Uh, destination. We need destination. There we are. Destination. Passengers to... Oh, it's far broke. We've just added a, uh, a line for that. So we're going to... Cartbourne. There we are. We'll do... Uh, that's... <clears throat> excuse me. That's the next one on the list. New vehicle. Oh, we haven't got enough money just yet. Can we get a loan? Oh my goodness, we have like max loan. How are we this late into the game and have a maximum loan? We're going to have to pay that off. It's ridiculous. Um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll try and get it paid off between now and next episode. But um, you know me, I'll probably forget. So... Um, <laughs> Yeah, we're really just pushing this passenger network. And what we're going to do is we're going to find out how spending this money has worked. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, these train list. Now, these are all in order. If we go down towards the bottom, we have these two ones here. These are brand new. So I think one, two, three. I think we've done four so far this episode, have we? We did Tedham... Tedham to Fuborn, and then Tedham, Ladding, Hatton, and then Ladding, Hatton, Farber. So I think actually we've done three. This this will probably be our fourth one. So uh, how much money do we need? 6.1 million. We have enough. Just managed to buy that train in time. So we're going from Ladding, Hatton to uh, Cartborn. There we are. And we're going to let that go and hopefully it will raise us some money. Once again, Ladding Hatton is now our top station. Ladding Hatton is becoming the central node for a lot of stuff here. Um, let's have a look, 3,700 3, passengers. A lot of them still wanted to go to Tedham, and a lot of them still want to go to Fartborn. Maybe another train to uh, Fartborn is required. Although we, we, those are dark green. Dark green lines are okay. Light green lines probably mean maybe we have too many trains. Um, although generally we all are looking dark green now. There's no yellow. Let's check this part of the network. Oh, that's light green. Yeah, it's all light green. Uh, that's light green and dark green. Have we had another UFO there? No, we haven't. That's okay. Light green and dark green I'm happy with. Uh, if it gets too light, though, then that means that... the the, there's too many trains. Uh, we'll pay that loan off later. Thank you very much. Um, right. Yeah, white between Cartbourne and Ladding Hatton means it's unused. But I'm hoping that that situation changes. Let's have a look at Tedham here. We've still got this flipping grain mill in the way. I'm, I was hoping that it would close down and I could sort out these tracks a little bit. But nope, not going to happen by the looks of it. Well, whilst we're waiting for more money to come in, let's go and have a look at the trains and have a look at the ones that are worst off. In fact, this one's not going anywhere. Let's go into this depot. Why is that one stopped? Carry on. Uh, train 39's broken. We'll just get those trains rolling again. Why not? Right, we're going to do profit last year and have a look at the worst ones. Um... We've got a train here waiting for a free path. Train 22. Is it stuck? I don't know why, but that train just... There's something wrong here with the train signals. Hang on. Let's have a closer look. Uh, there's no signals going into this station by the looks of it. Um... think we need there we are I don't know did I I think I revamped that at some point and this this train here is waiting for a path but where's it going it's trying to go into Fongfingfeed steel mill which is oh yes it, it can't get in there uh, I think once this train's gone past oh god there's loads of them um, yeah, they need to get out of the way. We've just got way too many. I'll tell you what, this one's old. Let's sell it. It's 
stop that one inside the depot and sell it. There we go. Um, yeah, once this train's gone... Oh, a hover bus? Ooh! Oh, let's finish the episode with some hover buses. So, yeah, there's, there's only two platforms available for these trains, and they just keep piling up in this depot, and that's not helping the situation. Uh, let's go back to electrified rail. Um, I want to get rid of this bit. But I don't know the best way of doing it. Oh, UFO, I saw you creeping across the screen there. I think I wasn't watching. Oh, no, no, hang on, you don't, don't come this way. Don't land there. Do not land there. I told you not to... Okay, you landed there. <sighs> land, you landed in my train. Thank you very much for that. Okay, we're going to fix this problem by making these go to the next order. There you are. I mean, it doesn't matter the fact that they've both just broke down, but never mind. Come on. Oh, for crying out loud. We'll be all right. So what we want to do is remove this piece of middle track here. Once this train's gone across. There we go. Oh, for crying out loud. Now that train wants to get this way. Do that then. Okay, I think we're all right now. Well, at least until that UFO explodes. Right, uh, extra viewpoint. We'll have a close look at that UFO. Keep it up there in the top left of the screen until we're sorted. Right, uh, let's check out these hover buses then. Um, what should we do? Should we do a hover bus shuttle between the between the back of Tedham and the back of Ladin Hatton across this gap? Why not? Let's put a piece of road in that matches this up. So that connects. That can connect. Um, that connects automatically. And we can also do that. There we are. We've got a number of roads that connect. That'll do. Ladding Hatton in Tedham are now becoming one. So let's go and get a, a bus depot. What we'll do is we'll just do it on the outskirts, kind of like over here. Yeah, just on the edge. We'll put a bus station in there, Tedham East. And then at the back end of Ladding Hatton. There you are, UFO's gone. Where's the, there's the government plane that blew it up. Thank you very much, lads. He was just totally in my way. We'll uh, we'll fix that in a second. Um, we need to put this depot thing in. Let's put it quite close to the city centre, but like not right in it. So just down here we'll do. Cracking. Uh, a couple of depots. We'll put the depots in the middle. Put one there and one there. Right. Hover bus time. Yeah, I know a UFO landed. That was ages ago. God, the news is so behind the times. New vehicle. Hover bus. Oh, look at that. It's got flashy things. I wonder how fast it goes. I haven't even looked yet. Okay, go here. And go here. Right. Road vehicle one. Have we got any road vehicles now? Or did I get rid of them all? No, we... Mm, we've still got some trams in some places. Uh, right, let's check out this hover bus. Go! Well, it's zooming along. It just had to stop for trains. Oh, it's going to get run over by a train, isn't it? Uh, it did go over 100 mile an hour, which is pretty cool. Uh, train 9 is lost. I know train... Oh, here we go. 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200... What?! That's got to be the fast. Let's what's its max? What's its top speed? Three hundred and eighteen mile an hour. Flipping flop flops. Right. Okay. Let's let's fix. Let's fix this here. Um, I think that's okay. Let's make him go in that depot. Right, 
Oh, for nuts sake, that one of those trains has done it again. Okay, well, I fixed that up there. Tedham East has quite a few passengers, and Ladding Hatton Valley has quite a few. Pa Where's my bus? Did it just break down? I think, oh my goodness, look at the negatives on the profit. It's a bit pixelated for this. <laughs> okay, so it made 6,000 on the. Oh my goodness, 6,000 on that journey? It can, it can only carry 30 passengers, though. And there's a hundred and something there. So that tells me... It doesn't seem to slow down much when it turns corners. I think we should be going a further distance. I think we should uh, be going from the back end of each city. We can even do... Like a... a some other I don't know. Uh, <laughs> right, let's let's put a let's put a new station in. Wow, I never thought hover buses could be so good. Let's put let's put one right in the middle of town, and we'll put one right in the middle of town over here as well. It's going to be a little bit difficult to see. And where's our hover bus? There it is. Right, we're going to change its orders. Why did it just go red? Don't know. Right, so we're going to go from Tedham North to Laddinghatton Central. And we're going to delete this one. So we're going to use the remove tool so it doesn't remove the road. And we'll do the same here with Tedham East. That was a nice experiment. Uh, right. Wow. So let's change that to Central. Tedham. Central and Ladding Hatton Central and I think we're gonna need some more buses. So where is it? Where's my bus gone? Where's my 300 mile an hour bus? Serious? Oh, there it is Clone clone cl I got it. It's quite expensive uh, But I think a fleet of five There we go Hopefully they, uh, let's have a look at their speed as they go through the city. It just increases and, and increases. So ideally I want them to reach their top speed and do a good bit of travelling before they get to the other side. Let's, let's follow this bus. So it's going slowly through the city. I say slowly, it's going at 140 mile an hour through the city. There we are. Cross the railway line. Oh, it had to stop for the train. I think we need a bridge. Definitely need a bridge. Right, okay, let's sort that out. So, for a bridge, we're going to have to remove that and that, and then go... Damn it! Did you see that? The city put the... Uh, there we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Is that connected? Yes, it is connected. Let's just make sure there's no way of getting through on the roads. So let's do remove road, and I'm going to do control and X and make the bridge transparent. There we go. Perfect. Right. Uh, I'd, let's unmake bridges transparent. Now where's my bus? No, that's not buses. There we go. So how, how's our road vehicle one doing? It is whamming its way across. Oh, it broke down. What's their reliability? Oh, the reliability is only 51%. But the profits are looking pretty good so far this year. It's making a good profit. Um, it looks like we've got a red. What does red mean on the cargo flow? Overloaded? Um... Ladin Hatton Central. Yeah, we've got lots of passengers wanting to go backwards and forwards on that particular route. We may need more than five buses. And here comes some of them now. Oh, look at them go. <laughs> Cracking. Well, 
Maybe we'll play around with hover buses just a little bit more next time. But we're going to get some more trains to try and fulfill more of the network requirements. I think at the moment the passengers aren't doing too bad. Let's have a look at what effect this episode's had on the operating profit. Oh, look at that. Cracking, just as I was hoping. Uh, I've been trying to get the industry network nice and stable so I can leave it for a while. And now I've been able to do that and concentrate on those passengers. They are making us some lovely profit. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Remember to leave all your thoughts, ideas and questions down in the comments section below. And remember that this episode is supported in part by my Viewer Plus program. If you don't know about it, there's a link in the description and there's going to be a short clip that to tell you more about it at the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, take care, and for now, goodbye. The Master Hellish Viewer Plus program is a fantastic way to get even more hellish action. As well as supporting hellish in his hellish activities, you also earn fantastic benefits. One of these benefits is a dedicated open TTD game server. This server runs 24 seven and is available to all Viewer Plus subscribers. In addition, Viewer Plus subscribers also get priority Viewer Plus game sign up where in viewers games, dedicated spaces are reserved just for Viewer Plus subscribers. Viewer Plus subscribers also get to sign up 15 minutes before standard viewers. Another benefit is Viewer Plus videos. Viewer Plus videos consist of extra vlogs, behind the scene footage and outtakes along with in between episode episodes of our favourite videos from Hellish. Other benefits include a dedicated Discord channel so Viewer Plus people can voice chat, a special downloads page with extra downloads on top of the original ones that Hellish has made public, and a Viewer Plus forum. Also, there is a special game giveaway every month for just Viewer Plus subscribers. So, for all these bonus benefits, head out to masterhellish.net and check out Viewer Plus and reap the rewards of supporting Master Hellish. Thank you.